Your name is Mr. J.R. Coe? That's correct. And I believe you are a party to this suit involving the Midway Motors Credit Corporation and Marvin Lambert and a Mr. J.B. Coe? Yes, sir. Now, are you a little hard of hearing, Mr. Coe? And sometimes I can't speak. Now, if there is anything you don't hear or understand me perfectly on, you just say so because I won't take any offense at it and I will repeat myself until it is clear to you. Is that agreeable, sir? That is fine. Now, how old a man are you, Mr. Coe? Well, if I live to see the 15th of next month, 66. How long have you lived in Warren County? Since 1900. 1900? Yes. You have been here since 51 years then? I come in 1952. 52 then? Somewhere along there. Are you a married man? I have been. My wife passed away. You are not married at this time? Batching. Were you married only one time? One time. And has your wife been dead some years now, Mr. Coe? About 12 years. Do you have any children? Two. Are they boys? One girl, one boy. Where do they live? One of them lives between me and Mansfield and the other one in Mansfield. Do you own a farm? Yes, sir. How large a place is it? I have two or three small places. 170 acres. That is the total acreage of all three of them? Well, let's see. One, two, three, four, five parts of them. You've got five different places? Yes, sir. Small places. Do you perhaps mean five tracts? Yes. You don't have the different sets of improvements on them, do you? Well, I got a little house this man moved in. It's just fixed up so he can live in. Don't charge him anything. Just one. That is where I live. How long have you lived there? Well, I come there during World War II, built a house, a little house of timber at the time. Were you in World War I? No, they didn't take me, and I was worth too much to farm. Were you in the Spanish-American War? No, I don't think so. It was World War I, they turned me down. You were farming then? Farming, yes, sir. Now, you have lived right there for how long, did you say? Well, I have been out there ever since I have been in Texas, since 1900. How long have you known Mr. Lambert? Well, it could be, I imagine, about 15 years ago I bought a tractor from him. I couldn't remember those things, but anyway, somewhere around there. Where was his place of business then? The same place? No, his place of business was out here on Main Street. I think it's Main, back out here. What kind of a tractor did you buy from him on that occasion? A Ford. Is that the same kind you've got now? Well, it's supposed to be the same kind, but just a little different, difference in years and time. Is that the same kind of tractor that is involved in this lawsuit? Yes, it was a Ferguson Ford. That is what it was. I haven't got it now. I sold it. Did you sell it to him? Uh, no, sir. Did you sell it to somebody else? Sold to another man. About when did you sell it? Well, I couldn't say for sure when I quit farming. When was that? I couldn't tell you that. Well, was it five years ago? Oh, longer than that. Ten or twelve years ago, I was uh, bailing hay at the time and had to quit because I couldn't get help. You mean you had to quit farming or quit bailing hay? Quit bailing hay and quit farming too. Couldn't get no help. And you bought this tractor, this first tractor, about 15 years ago, and you think you sold it about maybe 12 years ago? Somewhere along there, yes, sir. Did you ever have any other dealings with Mr. Lambert until the time you bought the tractor involved in this lawsuit? Not until I bought this here last tractor. Did you ever see him between those times? Yes, I'd come up there about two weeks and made a trade with him for a tractor before I bought it. That is the only time you saw him in the intervening 12 or 15 years? Oh, I come up in there in his office several times, things that I needed, you know, and the first tractor I bought was, had a defective engine in it, and I called him. I waited three days, and he didn't come, and I had some helpers that was working for me tear it down. I met the, his man on the way out there to pick it up, and he picked it up and brought it in. When it come back, it was $90. It was a guaranteed engine. I called him and told him I had an engine missing that something seemed to be wrong with it. 